Hi everyone, this is Greg from Greg's Whiskey Guide, Grégoire pour le public français. Um, this is a new video from me and I would like to use this opportunity to uh, announce you um, uh, from now on also uh, social media wise on Instagram. Uh, so just type in one word Greg's Whiskey Guide uh, and you will find me there where well, I will post some exclusive pics, exclusive mini videos when I can, uh, and uh, spoilers, teasing information, etc., and short reviews if I can. Um, for now, I'm only ex have access to it with my phone. I would like to have access on my computer, which is for me easier to tape. But we'll see. Uh, I already uh, posted some stuff, so please check it out. I'm still also on Twitter, I'm also on LinkedIn, and uh, my website is kind of mothball at the moment, same name, but you still can have access to uh, all the articles and there's a lot of information since 2013 that I started there, uh, because I couldn't publish a book, so I versed in, let's say, 40% uh, of the content, uh, th maybe 20, 30 of my tasting notes, and 80%, mm, let's say, of uh, the informations and things I gathered and I wrote for the book. Even if all this, of course, have has to be updated, and I did date it uh, up to around a few years ago, and I uh, last articles were in the summer, I think, last summer or something like that. Okay, so that said, uh, today I uh, was tired because I didn't have too much time to prepare things uh, and I still have to double check some bottles before doing a review for you. Um, so while I was um, for my last video uh, reviewing the new orchard or orchard, I don't know how to pronounce this, orchard house, orchard house, from Compass Box, I thought was maybe cool to stay a bit on the blended malt category, uh, take another path which is more industrial, more uh, big companies wise, uh, opposed to craft ones that I, uh, the, the one I covered last week. Um, and also because it's uh, it's a curious bottle I don't uh, see often covered. Uh, it's it's a concurrent in the way of the Monkey Shoulder from which is not my uh, favorite whiskey, but I have to revisit it probably. The Copper Dog uh, from Diageo is a blended malt that's currently uh, available. It has been found in 2014. Uh, launch first, I will explain this uh, on a limited pace and then uh, extend it something more industrial. Um, um, and it is something different. I wouldn't say the opposite of what John uh, with Compass Box does, but it, it's something different. Uh, but it has also its own interest. So, but before I get into this, I'd like to do a short introduction um, talking about blending. Uh, this is a topic that uh, really uh, right up my alley, so I will go back to it, especially when I'll do. Uh, very soon now because the bottle I will get next week and I will approve it or not, we'll see. <laughs> Crossing fingers uh, of the, the one I did myself this year professionally. Um, but it's it's more to a quick thing about, uh, about blending, whether it's a blending malt or blended whiskey. And in a way, let me tell you, single malts as well. When, for instance, you're buying a Lagavulin 16 or you're buying an Aberla or a 10 or things like that, you're not buying single casks. You're, uh, you're buying batches made of hundreds of thousands of casks. Uh, when you have a production which is uh, mainly of uh, 
mil several million liters okay most of them goes to blend but even for single malts uh, except when it's mentioned small batch or limited edition you probably get bottles which are uh, made of a lot of casks that's that's my point and they are blended of course they're blended only with cask from one distillery so that's why they're called single malts for this case the copper dog is a blending of um i should not mistake on this because <laughs> yeah it's because it's seven years old blended malt uh, made of eight single malts from the space space side region that's why i mistake sometimes um so this is uh currently on, on shelves on supermarket on, on re some retailers so it's not a super limited edition uh, even if it has a batch number here it doesn't i saw several years reference for the same batch which is a bit suspect for me um but it, it's still an interesting one um, my exemplary comes with i will explain also this uh, leaflet and the name of the the whiskey of course and with uh, some recipes uh, i haven't tried them yet by the way this doesn't come with a tube but because i uh, eat sleep etc in the same place uh, i want my whiskies to be uh, in protective content and also that i fancy this this is recycled obviously uh, from another bottle of another whiskey i also like to put a lot of information there even if i have the producers not here i have some information from the producers but also from what i could uh find um but yeah i wanted to tell you that the adventure of blending um starts of course in when it's a creation um check out oh yeah okay um first you have to draw whiskey from the casks right so uh, and and we, before getting to sample do your selection you need a tool to uh, to take off your casks the liquid the whiskey and put it into a glass to try it or into a, a vessel different kind of uh, glasses uh, tools they come from the chemical industry most of the time so it's it's tall glasses uh, to uh, assess and, and blend whiskies and the copper dog the dog is supposed to the name of the whiskey the dog is supposed to be the man's best friend right but the man best friend back in the day last year i think it stopped around the 1960s something like that 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 practice but i'm not sure um, the practice of uh giving to the employees a little of whiskey uh every week end of week something like that along with the the, the pay uh they were getting a glass or a bit or a bottle or something uh with a new make um this was not enough so this this tradition stopped uh, in the 20th century but before that and the copper dog which is not necessary in copper but it was a long tool like you can see here in this picture but i'm going to show you others uh this came uh, with uh, by the way this tool was offered in a gift box with the the whiskey but I, while i was a bit late to get my whiskey i couldn't get me the this dog uh, which uh, I regret because now I need one as a, uh, as a blender to go into the distillery and pick up some uh, cask samples, see what's the taste like to do my selections. So, <coughs> sorry, this was used professionally, but before it was used professionally, Cup of Dog, the best man's friend, because the best man's friends was unfortunately to steal whiskey from the warehouses where those people were working and this long tool they were taking whiskey was nobody was looking and they were putting into their pants 
and they were getting off the distillery uh, with uh, nobody understanding they had some uh, stolen whiskey in their pants mm -hmm. now it has been modernized and even if it can be in glass today i saw some in glass in some cognac warehouses for instance or uh, in shelter points video he uh, leon uses a glass whiskey thief so this dog thief the different terms for that here's one it's a bit little but as it's Ian MacArthur which is a legendary figure uh, so it's uh, it's here uh, taking whiskey from a t from a cask using that thief so basically it's like a pip it's a big pipette so you 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 press it when you um, take the thief into the cask then you remove it and you re release it uh, just on top of a glass or, or a container to pour your whiskey in there. So yeah, also something that I discovered lately, which is uh, well lately, some time ago, with th which makes the interest of those old books. I did a whole video about whiskey books, by the way. Please check it out. This is a picture we very rarely see because. Uh, what does he say here in the cask? Balvenie distillery, yeah. Sometimes this dispos disposal, this process is in distilleries, others it's, it's in uh, blending warehouses of uh, blending houses. Look at this, uh, I'm not sure many of you have seen that. So this here is a hole uh, with a, a system that when you uh, when you put the cask in there and uh, and, and take the bung out, out of it, you 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 move it until it's uh, it gets poured into a big kind of canal. And this is uh, at several places of the distillery that they move the uh, they move the casks to 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 ver to pour them into these, and all this goes into a big tank a big container uh, most probably in stainless steel but it can be also a big wooden washback like con a container and this is the vatting um, the vatting um, container this will be used to uh, marry for the first time some do it after all the things uh, the grains and the malt do them separately like uh, white and mackay and and others but uh, most of them they blend the grain and the, and the, the malt together to do blended whiskies or they blend the, the single malts together to do uh, blended malts or they they blend all the casks to do a uh, core range uh, expression for instance Lefroig 10, Arbelauer 10, whatever they're blending a lot of cask and they won't handpick everyone and let me tell you for a big core range release they don't handpick anything the handpick which is sometimes over used means n n barrel select etc means you have to pick them one by one like i did in, in that french distillery i worked i picked them one by one and first off watching the the uh, livre de cave the, the the cellar book which every cask is in there listed the uh, the year of uh, distilling uh, the abv when it was distilled and at several points in the year when it is checked to see how it goes uh, also the the previous container etc lots of information it's always interesting to have a look at the cellar book in a warehouse but it's yeah it's professional um, so there you go so you see this is, is something we don't see often and, and if it used uh, to uh, blend whiskies um, and then what happens what happens then um, well, this is a, a rather romantic, uh, this is often way more than that, hundreds of samples reduced to 30 or 20 ABV by using water. So this is Colin Scott here at his young age. Uh, he's, uh, he's tasting, nosing first and then tasting if needed, only if needed. 
uh, let's say 20 here or 20 or 30 samples uh, in order to create uh, a new reference or to check the consistency of the next batch uh, when they are um, selecting uh, the cask for uh, consistency and continuity. Uh, forgot the word. <laughs> but here we have this. So this is uh, is sold around 30, 35 euros here. I think 25 or 20 maybe uh, pounds. So this was made in 2014 when uh, Pierce Adams uh, bought the Kregillaki Hotel, which is a prestigious hotel in Speyside, uh, Scotland. Um, and he wanted to have a reference uh, exclusively for them. Uh, so, uh, so he asked uh, the AGO master blender Stuart Morrison, and a famous whiskey writer as a, as a uh, kind of, and I forgot the word again, <laughs> as a caution, as, as a, um, a reference uh, to, to, to promote the, the whiskey. Uh, so when I saw, I forgot uh, Dave was involved into this, I was hesitating to get this because 40% and obviously caramel colored and everything. But when I saw that Dave, uh, which I know a bit, uh, did collaborate to this, I say, okay, let's jump it. There was uh, a bit of a promo price, and I got a few euros less. Um, yeah, so I really regret this copper dog is not included because I I, I will really need one. Uh, it's hard to find on the internet, but. Uh, and sometimes expensive and this one mind you uh, as you can see here it's small and the content is only uh, 50 mil uh, 5 cl which is very few very it's it's too small amount for what we need to assess a whiskey and create different versions we need at least 20 20 or 50 cl and me while it was not made for that, the distillery I worked with wasn't equipped seriously for uh, whiskey blending. They, they never did that. So I had to to annoy them a bit with something. Oh, do you have samples, etc. No, no, we have full bottles. So I used full bottles, whatever. Um, this is made with uh, enough uh, rambling and digressing. This is made of uh, eight single malts again. Uh, and the three key uh, distilleries in there disclosed by Diageo, the others are not disclosed. So we have to guess. Um, this is uh, the biggest, I believe, amount is provided by Rose Isle, which uh, a distillery which is uh, new and from 2009 uh, because uh, they produce no less than 12 and a half million of liters of pure alcohol per annum so obviously and uh, and they don't for now if I'm not mistaken they don't release single malts they only uh, there are fillers for blends like we say so for now the only way to taste it was in 2017 in a Diageo or a special release uh, selection uh, collection 28 was the name of the whiskey which had 28 malts from Diageo in there right so uh, Rosile is one of the three main components the other one is Nocando this is a 12 official uh, 12 years old official this is an old vintage <laughs> uh, and this is a, is a way smaller distillery with 1.4 millions of alcohol per annum uh, so Rosal was found in 2009 uh, Nokendo in uh, 1898 the other, which is a distillery I like a lot, but it's also, there's not many, uh, Nokendo has three or four references currently, uh, 12, there was a 14, I think, 
rich oak something like that uh, uh, 18 years old and 21 uh, I will do at some point a review of the 12 18 and 21 uh, years old uh, inch cover has from time to time special releases uh, of very limited editions otherwise there's this very nice 14 years old flora and fauna uh, collection uh, range that I really recommend this is really lovely should have poured it myself before but forgot okay this is more for the um, herbal slash fruity slash spicy uh, fresh elements side this will play a role in a more nutty sherried not only sherried but um, side with some uh, nice caramel as well natural caramel we in this the problem is this this is good in a way I'm, I'm divided about this one uh, this is very nice, very well crafted in a way, but in, on the other hand, and it has some nice fudge slash caramel notes, but on the other hand, it also has obviously some limitations due to mass market production, which is the 40% only ABV. It's a shame, should be at 43 at least, 46, I know, not chill filtered, etc. But um, we're gonna try to see what's all about despite all this so I pour this a little before I had a first sip because it was a long time I uh, haven't tried it well legs wise is it really worthy as it goes down very quickly and color wise it says uh, yellow, gold yellow but color in whiskey i will do a special episode about color and whiskey you will see that <laughs> it can be very misleading and interesting on the nose what i like about this one it's better with a bit of water and even in with ice it's not so bad it's the fresh yellow peach elements and uh, citrus fruit elements coming from the nose so it's quite some esters still trying to shine through an herbal element let me check here i haven't tried for a while so yeah orange apricot uh nutty sherry american oak vanilla uh sweet spices some ginger it's very melted it's very well made it, it's almost made like a blended whiskey not a blended malt for me but also as it is a specider it's natural that you got those fudge uh, dried fruit candied fruit uh, sweet spices elements in it So yeah, it's a nice profile. In fact, I prefer the, the nose than the palate, if you ask me. But let's go for the palate, Langeva. With a nice creaminess, nice caramel melted with some herbal notes um, also some honey um, citrus fruits again very shy yellow peach a bit shy as well uh, baked apples and pears mostly apples a bit ripe some dried fruit candied fruit but it's a bit in the second ground There's very slight bitterness at the, at the end. Some warming spices, but not so much. It's quite pleasant, but it's a bit frustrating. Um, on the detail of a uh, number note, it goes from this to this on the palette. 
so it decreases of, uh, in the uh, interest power and also generosity factor which I have here it's a bit uh, disappointing I preferred it on the neck pour believe me or not where I rated it higher but last time I rated it uh, I have to decrease the uh, the final rating and it's not gonna be better now I'm afraid but I kind of still like this one maybe I'm also uh, influenced by the fact that Dave has worked on this one and also because it's called Copper Dog and it's for the Krigalecki Hotel I don't know there's something still quite pleasant in this but um, it will definitely benefit from a um, slightly more ABV and maybe my guess were the master blend is gonna say who you do you think you are you blah 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 <laughs> you're not you have then a career like me but I think I don't care I will have my say and say not only it should be 43 or 46 and children third etc but I believe it can have that said even uh, it can have some older content but for me it will be great if it would they don't have the right to state it unfortunately but it would be great if it has more older content not necessarily much because the price has to be fair I think it's a bit slightly overpriced but it claims some craft action I don't know if it's the truth uh, but the fruitiness com comes across with a slightly nice floral notes I forgot to mention a bit better with a few drops not much more but um yeah what i was going to say i forgot yeah i cover this also because uh, it's something I, I see more and more now in shops so maybe people wanted to have my opinion about this one that's what i thought of course it's hard to come back with this after the wonderful uh, orchid house I had last week and which really uh, I'm still thinking of about it <laughs> um, it's something it's quite different yeah there's a nice combination still that's why I I, st I still review it if I was real crap I won't review it um, there's something interesting still in there. There's nice nuttiness from the Nokendo. There's some ni nice um, fre herbal freshness and from the um, Inchgauer. Uh, I don't know what comes from the Rosai because we can't taste it um, so far. It would be cool if they did release maybe it's the case but I'm not aware of it I'm sorry uh, let me know in the comment section if you hear about that if they have released I have a doubt uh, at least one or two limited releases just to let people uh, taste what it is uh, but I, I don't I don't know okay so a nice but limited in its interest uh, blended malt scotch whiskey I rated it now I rated now 84 but I guess some will review it some will rate it even less uh, somewhere maybe about 81 I might change my mind over time but this is not something that will go over 84 for me uh, in this expression and with this patch Okay, there you have it. Hope it was interesting. See you soon with something else and have a nice weekend or end of weekend.